So, I figure I'll do an actual short one today, rather than the ones where I uh, say that it'll be short, and then I'm still screaming 30 minutes later. Um, but, uh, you know, before I get into the stuff that uh, I feel needs addressing, uh, I'll just bring up the fact that uh, this rape apologist that some people uh, and myself were holding accountable um, for being a rape apologist... I decided to mock um, my my uh, content creation job and call it begging. So I figured y'all would be amused by that. Um, when someone harasses you on the internet, it's interesting to look them up, to see what they look like, and to see that they're begging strangers on the internet to pay their rent and buy them food. I wouldn't waste time talking to this loser in person. Why argue with him here? So he does that and then links to my payment options. I guess he pulled that from here. But yeah, he was literally trying to excuse somebody's spousal rape. So he's a piece of shit scumbag. Um, and uh, I figured I would show that to y'all if y'all need a laugh. You can support me on uh, any of these services, should you so choose. Um, and it will help me continue to make content. Um, so, in a, in a weird backhanded way, thanks, guy, for sharing my uh, payment links as though that was some kind of gotcha. Um, but you know who really needs a gotcha? Uh, some of these terminally online motherfuckers. Uh, because they will share a story because it confirms their biases and not really any other reason. And I'm going to get into why I'm saying that here uh, relatively quickly. Because let's start with this. Let's start with this. I think it's an easy way to start. Um, there's a TikTok going around. Let me make sure I've got this properly cropped and padded. But basically, there's a TikTok going around where <laughs> this guy says that uh, that they're they're putting up a bill in Texas um, to allow them to hunt LGBT people for the purposes of suing them. I'm going to play this video. I think I've got it properly. Yeah, there we go. So here's this. Uh, hold on. Hold on to your ass because this is a wild fucking ride. Attorney General Paxton in Texas, eh, they are currently writing the same type of law for transgenders and gay people, gay and lesbian, bisexual, transgender, that they did for abortion, making it legal to vigilantes find gay people and sue them. They're in the process of writing that legislation, the same legislation that the Supreme Court allowed to stand. California and you, New York, can you help us here? Um, can you write legislation and withhold all federal funding? until this done use that federal funding to get these people i don't i don't know what to do the these these other red states are fucking laughing at us we are beholden to an illegitimate fucking supreme court because they shouldn't even be sitting on there because we had a president who committed fucking treason and should be in jail the blue states all the blue states should immediately withhold all of their federal funding grab a fucking couple accountants sit down and figure out how you can share it do so, so do something but he doesn't know, right? He doesn't know what to do because it's not fucking real. I looked hard for this bill. You know, I looked hard. There are so many comments where, you know, people are asking for a source. Well, at least there were when I fucking looked at this last. I don't know. Maybe they were fucking deleted. But like look at look at all these people just believing it and just relaying further stuff. Like there's so much here of just people believing it or being incredulous like what? You know, and, and this would be terrible if it was true. But you'll notice that not a single shred of fucking proof was provided. Not a single shred. Uh I, I feel like, if it's possible, maybe I'll do, like, my own stitch of this video. I don't know if this video has stitch turned on. But ultimately, yeah. Um, 
I couldn't find this bill. I looked hard. The closest I could find is a, you know, a statement of illegitimacy in the GOP platform in Texas. Okay, that sucks, but it's not a bill. And it ha it has nothing to do with hunting people down. And suing them for what? What law breaking? You know? So, that's an example, right? And I think it's a relatively good example of bullshit. Because, like, <laughs> this guy, he was like, Good morning. Texas is working to make it legal to be a vigilante and hunt down LGBTQ to pros prosecute them legally. Just letting you know. And he shares this video, right? It's the same video I just showed you. Um... And I was just down here like, so like, source? Where is this bill? Where can I read it online? For reference, this is what happens when somebody commits the heinous crime of asking for a source from the person who made the TikTok you linked. Do you have one? Because they don't. Or did you just believe them? Spoiler alert, it seems like everybody just believed them. At least everybody of the, like, 217.4 thousand likes on TikTok. Or the 11.8 thousand fucking shares on TikTok. You know, everybody who shared it, you know, fucking like this guy. N Nobody cares about sources! And I waited a day, right? Um, and, and I waited to see if you ever... Provided a source. And no, we didn't. These people don't provide sources. They don't need to provide sources. They just want you to be incredulous or angry and move on. Become a pawn in their particular political persuasion game. They don't need facts or reality. That's not going to get taken down for misinformation. None of this is. In fact, the only time people ever take something like this down is if there's enough pressure and they decide to. Because this sort of hysteria serves the elites. Sort of like when Stephen King wrote on the 5th of July, DeSantis signs bill requiring Florida students and professors to register political views with the state. I can't even... Because he read a headline somewhere, and <laughs> and that headline later got changed. CNN over here being like, fact check, liberal website changes headline that falsely said Florida Gov. Ron DeSantis signed a bill that forces students to register their political views. He just took it down, and he said, you know... I deleted a tweet about Ron DeSantis requiring notice of political views of students and teachers. That really was fake news. Sorry. And everybody's like sucking his cock about it. And then he's just over here like, DeSantis is still a jerk. That isn't fake news. And like, I agree. I've gone against DeSantis before. Largely for basically mandating the police are as, you know, brutal and confrontational and escalatory as possible, or they lose their funding. And hyper-funding police and offering police bonuses. Those bonuses, the people of Florida, the reason crime happens most significantly is poverty and shit-ass conditions. And instead of actually addressing the problem, he gave cops money, extra money, so that they wouldn't commit the, you know, non-crime of police brutality, where they investigate themselves and find themselves guilty of no wrongdoing, and all that shit, right? Because it's not a crime when they do it, it's just a crime when the common person does brutality, trespassing, theft, digital rape. They call that a cavity search. You know, there's just so many examples. Child abuse, just whipping kids to floors in schools, giving them concussions. 
There's like, but like, point is, I hate DeSantis. I think his COVID policy was slightly better, but like, ultimately, it's the only reason COVID policy was bad anywhere was the state, and him empowering cops doesn't help anti-statist efforts, no matter how many copter cocked rightoid libertarians would tell you so. Um, so let me be super clear. I'm not Team DeSantis, but man, fuck Stephen King. He's t he's like such a lib cuck these days. I I hate this fucking garbage where people just jump on the train. You know, like. Anyway, the the point I wanted to bring up, involving those two, uh, then firmly traces its way into this, which is this story of an alleged ten year old girl who got raped. And uh, got pregnant, right? Big if true, for those of you who know that reference. <laughs> but basically, she went through and tried to prove it. And uh, could she prove it? No, she couldn't. And uh, I just, I want, I want to show you guys this thread. It's going to sort of scroll while I'm talking. Because it's a good threat. I don't like PJ Media. You know, I... Megan Fox is a conservative and not my bag. But... She got it right. You know? Like, immediately... I, even if this is true, people just believed it. For no real reason, people just believed it. Believed. It wasn't, it wasn't investigated, really. It was just pushed. You know? And I think that it's a great example of the other two. Stephen King just believed a fucking headline and parroted it. Didn't check, you know, whether or not it was true, whether or not there was any actual legislation or orders or anything fucking like it. He just believed it because it was a headline that comported with his bias and then he walked away. And it's the same thing with this case where this girl, like, may or may not even exist. And where all these outlets just repeated this story and this already biased person who already had a political agenda was like, yeah, I finally get my time in the sun. Caitlin Bernard finally gets her time in the sun to talk about this case. But did anybody verify it? No. <laughs> she posts, like, this spreadsheet where people tried to verify... Or, well, well, sorry, where, where she tried to verify it, but just found a bunch of stories where it was repeated without verification. You know... Uh, and this person's pushing laws. So, I just think it's valuable to bring this up. I, I don't want to agree with PJ Media, but it's a good fucking thread, isn't it? Where people just ran with a mainstream headline, and the mainstream just ate it up without proof. They, she, she, she asked for proof. Right? I'm not going to promote the thing. But, like, she asked for proof. She said, uh, I'm investigating the claim that the Indy Star made when it reported that a 10-year-old was forced to go from Ohio to Indiana for an abortion. In the article here, your writers Shari Rudofsky and Rachel Fradet repeated the claims that Dr. Caitlin Bernard told them. What kind of vetting was done on these claims? I've been unable to find any criminal investigation that you would expect from the rape of a 10-year-old in Ohio. Also, every publication that has tried to ask follow-up questions to Dr. Bernard has been unable to reach her. Did your reporters find out if the child is real? Did they confirm the details of the claim? They also failed to report that Bernard is an abortion activist at war with the state of Indiana and has sued the state to stop abortion regulations. 
Bernard is a well-known activist who appears to be in contact with many media outlets, including the NYT, and many Indiana outlets over the years on this very topic. This would seem to be important information. Did your reporters find out if Bernard, a mandated reporter, contacted authorities to investigate the abuse of the minor, or did she just hand her back to the possible rapist? These are all questions reporters should have asked, but yours didn't report anything about any of it, other than the abortion angle. Did they question Bernard's motives at all, or did they just repeat the things that she told them? How did they get Bernard's information? Did she reach out to them? Was it a press release? Also, Snopes attempted to confirm this story and was unable to. Did the Indy Star print fake news? Can you confirm that this news article is in fact real? I'm working under deadline and would appreciate a response as soon as possible. Thank you, Megan Fox. They didn't verify shit. They didn't do any fucking due diligence or check for conflicts of interest. There was no journalism done, and all these fucking mainstream outlets repeated it. Sort of like people just repeat, 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 repeat any claim that comports with their fucking bias. Just like the, <laughs> the fucking other claims that I talked about where DeSantis was evil and getting everybody to s register their political views. People like Stephen King, people don't like DeSantis, so they just say, eh, retweet, endorse. You're awesome, Stephen. Oh, you know, they're, they're, they're making a law where you can hunt LGBT people in Texas. Do something. Strip federal funding. But no proof was fucking provided. I, I tire of things, and I tire of them partially because they fucking splash back on me when I fucking, like, I, I fucking go against people, right? And, and it doesn't matter what proof I give, I'm still regarded as terrible. I, I just posted this joke tweet, right? This sort of jabby tweet about uh, Jill and Hunter Biden. Um, because the, the, they were trending and I thought it'd be funny. And it was funny because here's a great example of what I'm talking about, where somebody just repeated something that, uh, that, that the chick on the, the January 6th committee told her just repeated it. And all I did was say, Hey, maybe you shouldn't just repeat things. Somebody said as though they're fact, it's not fact. It's an allegation. And all you're doing is believing allegations to take a side and cape for a presidency, um, which is manifestly corrupt. You know? And she just wanted to make it about Trump. Trump, 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 Trump. You can't talk about Biden. You can't talk about his corruption. You can't talk about how this particular thing is just another act of corruption because it's coming over very heavy scrutiny. You can't talk about that. You can't talk about that. And then these people will just ignore when you say perfectly valid and reasonable things about the Biden presidency. They'll just ignore it. I hate the GOP. I hate far right figures. I hate that sort of thing. Right. But if you want to beat them, Here's a radical fucking suggestion. Stop making shit up and spreading shit you didn't verify. There's plenty of evil fucking shit that the right does. And I want it to stop. But it can't if this is what we're dealing with. ALL THE FUCKING TIME! And maybe we should do better, you know? Maybe authentic resisting dissidents should do better at not being mindless fucking parrots.
it's just fucking stunning how many of these things happen in a day. You can't keep track of the bullshit. And these are the same people who will tell you not to do your own research. I fucking wonder why. I figured I'd come out with that. I figured I'd have this nice little video. Hey, it's only 20 minutes, not 30. This nice little video where I just went over the fact that people should stop fucking lying. That's it. That's the speech. Uh, I've been Jeremiah Harding. Um, smash the fucking state.